Hello everyone, my name is Ben, and today we got an M1 MacBook Air that is not charging. I plug it in and there's no sound, there's nothing to say that it is charging. So let's dive into it and let's fix it. And upon inspection we found that the Thunderbolt ports were very, very corroded and not in very good shape. And this is the reason why it wasn't charging. So we went on to eBay, we bought a new Thunderbolt port part for the MacBook Air. And you can see just looking at those, the difference in the way that they look. Um, there's clearly some serious damage that is on this original part. Uh, some corrosion, something happened with that. So let's go ahead and dive into installing this into this MacBook Air. So, so with my iFixit screwdriver set, we're going to start with the P5 head, and that is the Pentagon, so a five-sided head, and that will open up these screws all around the MacBook. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can see that these ones on the bottom and also on the sides are a lot smaller than the ones that are on top. So if it comes to it, you can just remember that those top four on the thicker side of the MacBook Air are the ones that are longer. Now that it's all removed, we're just gonna grab the back cover from up there where there's a bit of a edge to it and then just lift it right off. Now, first things first, before you do anything else, you have to disconnect the battery. Now with these, um, that is just a simple process of you, there's this little lever here and you have to disconnect and lift up the lever and then pull it out using the lever. So now we're just gonna do that. And then once you open it up, I'm gonna go ahead and try to zoom in a little bit on here. I've already removed the screws just out of convenience here, but there are two screws right here you have to remove and then two that are right there. And I already have removed them, they're sitting right there. But you'll use the T4 head for those to remove those two little ones that sit right there on that bracket. And then after you've removed that bracket, after removing those screws, you have to remove these T5 screws right down here. Um, those are bigger black screws. And then set those aside and then you grab the other one, they already loosened. And then you can now carefully lift up the connector and then just shimmy out the Thunderbolt connector. And now that that is out, we'll go ahead and just do the opposite. Um, here is our Thunderbolt connector. And since it has to connect facing this way onto the motherboard, you just shimmy it in like that. And you can see that the way it's folded, the original one, we're gonna have to fold it likewise. So to, to do that, let me just pull this out again. This is the original one. We see that it's folded like that. So let me just emulate that same thing with this new part. I'm just gonna push this a little bit like that. So it has more of a 90 degree angle going on there with the connector. And now that we've done that, let's go ahead and try to shimmy it in there. And that is now in. We can go ahead and connect it to the motherboard. And that'll be a little bit difficult here. So let's just go ahead. We'll grab the T5 again. And then we'll just grab those bigger black screws that go on the bottom and get those in. There we go, and now we have to connect this piece to the motherboard. There we go, and it is connected. So now we'll grab this, and then of course this side right here with the foam looking piece is what will be pressed down on the motherboard, on the connector itself. And these are tiny little screws 
that we'll be using the T4 head on. And I'm not going to tighten them all the way because it's acting a little bit like a, a lever here. So I'm going to tighten that one just a little bit and then I'll put on the other side. And once, once you've tightened those two screws, you click the battery back in. Click it back in. And now, before we go too far, let's go ahead and lift up the machine. And we'll turn it on. And it turned on. So we'll go ahead and close that. And then we'll stick the back cover back on. And then we'll go ahead and screw in all of those original screws on the outside using the P5 head. So remember these smaller ones go here on the bottom. And the bigger ones up top. And now let's flip it around and we will plug in the MacBook and see if it now is able to charge. And there it is, it is charging.